la gang yes i am back y'all okay and as y'all see today i have on my la la gang red hoodie okay y'all already know y'all know what i'm about to say if y'all have not went down in the description box down below yes click that link and it will take you where you need to go go ahead go over Find you something, purchase you something. I also have a new hoodie and a new t-shirt saying, no build the boys here. Okay, it's just that way. Ain't no other way. It's the La La Gang way. Yeah, that way. Anyways, y'all. <laughs> um, I wasn't even going to record today, but shoot. When you got the La La Gang hitting me up in my emails, I can't ignore y'all. I got to say, okay, <laughs> let me get it together. Let me jump on it. Y'all know I wasn't in the best yesterday. It was just, woo wee. Oh my God, y'all. This heat is hot. I'll be right I am back. <laughs> Woo! Y'all know when you cut the heat on and see, I stay in an apartment, right? So my room and maybe uh, the living room, it get real warm, okay? But like my kids' room, it take forever for their room to get warm. And I be trying to run the heat, but it's like, uh-uh, because they more towards the front. And yeah, I don't know, y'all. Anyways, y'all, so... Today I am doing a video. I have one of my La La Gangs come to me in an email. This video is straight asking for advice, okay? And, and you know, sometimes when <laughs> you're in a situation, you married this, I don't like be giving my advice and stuff. But she actually was saying that she wanted others' opinions, okay? So I said, you know what? Ain't no better way <laughs> than to... To, to bring it to a whole lot of gangs, okay? And, and I know it's a lot of y'all that's actually out there in relationships, actually out there that's, that's, that's married, okay? And, and not only can I do a reaction on this and, and give up my thoughts and my opinion on the situation, but y'all can also come down in the comments down below and just give her some feedback. I will not say her name. <clears throat> she will be straight anonymous. So, girl, yeah. Don't ain't nobody gonna know none of that, okay? Y'all just gonna hear what I got to say, and at the end of the day, however you may feel on it, or if you was in this situation, what would you think? What would you do? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, we're gonna do that. And I said, I'm gonna start doing this. If y'all come to me and y'all want me to do a reaction on y'all come in or just something like this, we're gonna start doing this right here, because it is what it is. So anyway, y'all, let's get into the get to. All right, she said, hey sis, I hope all is well with you and your family. Yes, girl, we are all good over here. Um, And thank you. Um, She said, I need some advice. On a situation that happened between me and my husband, okay? I don't have many friends, really only one. Um, and I hear her opinion all the time. Y'all know how that go when you be having friends. Shit, that's how I used to be. Uh, I had only one real friend. Because y'all know, as I tell y'all all the time, I'm not the type of female that have a whole bunch of female friends. Because at the end of the day, a lot of those, you can have a big group of friends, but a lot of those is not your real friend. And just like me, I had a friend. I really thought she was my best friend, y'all. But, you know, sometimes chicks be having, yeah. But anyway, I used to always go to her for advice, okay? But sometimes you can listen and, and and listen to one person and their thoughts and their opinions of, of of a situation all the time. But you know, it it pays you to have a lot of ears. That's why I always used to kind of vent to my 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 cousin or um my mama or however, you know. Sometimes you wanna hear, y'all see my red, uh, y'all wanna hear outside of yeah, just that one person. Let me get back because I can start running my mouth. Um, she hear her opinion all the time, but I need some new thoughts and opinions. And girl, that is why we are here. Okay, we are here today to do what it do. Um, from others. Anyway, the situation is my husband said he had to work on Friday. And as always, I believe him. 
but something told me to check his time card that Saturday. And I did. He had no punches. And I was infuri infuriated with anger, but kept my cool and took him on a ride away from the kids. I asked him why he wasn't at work Friday. And he said, I was. You didn't see my truck? Okay, let me stop right here, y'all. <laughs> now, let me finish, okay? Um, you didn't see my truck. I said, as many times we seen other people leave their vehicle one place and hop in with someone else, that's not going to work for me. So I told him to show me where he punched in and he automatically went to... Oh, so you don't trust me. <laughs> oh, wait. Um, you don't trust me. Mind you, he never showed me where he punched in because he couldn't. He said that he traded days with a guy. He used to tell me how this guy will always complain about getting his hours cut and won't what oh getting his hour hours cut and what young guy going to trade their friday so they can work saturday mm. um <laughs> i don't know what to believe anymore i'm stuck on the median and I don't know whether to go left or right. I just need some opinions on what others think. Stay warm and stay blessed. Thank you. Oh, and she also said, backstory. Two years ago, he lied before he said he was hanging with friends and ended up getting a hotel and lied about that, saying it was for his friends, but... It was for him, so my trust is about 40% with him. Now, what I want y'all to do, I want y'all to drop in the comments down below and just tell me what y'all think about what I just read out. Um, my first thought, and that goes to anybody, okay? A lot of ladies, I would tell you, we all have intuition, okay? We all have it. A lot of us do not, <clears throat> a lot of us do not pay attention to it. A lot of us ignore it, okay, but we have it. So when you have it, you need to, you need to put it to use. You need to put it to work. Um, if 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 your gut is telling you something is not right, well, your intuition shit, that's 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 what it is. Now, I'm gonna go back to where he told you that he was at work and, and you checked his, his punches and it was nothing there. Shit, the time, the time clock don't lie, okay? The time clock don't lie. If he's saying that he worked, but he wasn't there, he, he have no, no trace of being there, shit. Who say that he worked? Now, I'm going to take it back to myself, y'all. And I always do this with situations. Now, when I was, you know, a little back, when I was with my older kid's father, okay, he used to work overnight. <clears throat> and every day, he would call me on a lunch break. He would call me, um, yeah, he would call me on a lunch break. He would call me shit. When they slow, he would call me, okay? I'm talking about every day. It was the same pattern. And if you used to this same pattern, when that when, when some kind of switch up or some kind of change, you'd be like, hmm. And remind you, I had just had my son, okay? And, and yeah, I had just had my baby. And I know that he had kids with this other girl, okay? And I know sometimes, yeah, he had to go over there and see his kids and this and that. But at the same time, this situ with this situation, this, this same female, she, she tried to throw up, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he still want her or however. You know, just trying to throw it up in my face, trying to get to me a little bit. You know, I don't know. So, anyways, y'all... That all being said, 
He's supposed to be at work, okay? Um, normally, when he come in from work, um, he actually smell like being around. I think they used to like build doors or something. He would smell like wood. So, I, I could tell like, oh, shit, he was at work. So this day he 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 didn't he didn't call me, okay, which was which was very strange. And also he didn't come he didn't come, you know, like he normally get off and come. I think he was like a little later or however. And when he came in, when I say intuition, okay, my intuition told me or or, or gave me that shit he had, he hadn't been at work, okay? So I just, you know, I just dealt with it. But in my mind, I knew like mm -mm. just his whole pattern, even when he came home and, and was getting just the shit that he was doing was just kind of off. And in my mind, I felt like, damn, he ain't been at work. He must have been with his other baby mama. OK, so come to find out because before he went to work, OK, and when we had the uh the landline phones, okay, because everybody now use mobile phones. He was in the kitchen on the phone, and I couldn't really hear him, but he was whispering, and this was before he had to go to work, okay? But anyway, come to find out later, me and his baby mama had got into it, right? So she told me like, oh, and you didn't know that he was calling me before come, before he had to go to work trying to see if he can come over her. You get what I'm saying? And also bringing it back up that he was actually at her house instead of, he, what she said, he didn't go to work. He stayed over her all day. So letting me know he was actually at her house. But with that being said, it was nothing new because my intuition had already told me what it was. So with that all being said, I am trying to tell you, I know that you want a lot of others' opinions and they thoughts on this situation, but at the same time, you have to listen to your gut, okay? If your gut is telling you something is not right, he is not telling the truth. He probably was not at work because we all do know, yes, you can go park your vehicle and you can go hop in a car with somebody else, but then it will also try to run through your minds to say, Say, well, shit, we in a whole pandemic right now. Who going to be out here cheating and doing the most? And we see watching these YouTube streets with these dumb ladies that be on here. This shit still happens. Guys is still trying to holler at females. So with this being said, it's possible that he is doing the opposite of what he's supposed to be doing. Um... And I, I like how they always try to hit you with, oh, you don't trust me to make you feel guilty of the situation. No, it's not that I don't trust you, but the shit that you are doing right now, the shit is not adding up. It's not that I don't trust you, but what I'm feeling right now in my gut is telling me that something is not right. So it's not about me not trusting you. It's it's the actions and, and, and how you planning and what you giving right now, because all I ask you for was for you to show me your time card show me your punches prove me wrong make me feel better about the situation and if you had nothing to hide and all the shit that you have done is lined up right guess what it'll just be that easy to say you know what baby hold up let me show you because you tripping right now this is what it is okay so <sighs> Y'all, it's hard. And that's what I said before, y'all. Being situations, even being married, sometimes it's hard, you know? You still get in those situations where where they lie and they do the most. And and what you saying that they now he he told you that he had to work, but then he come back to say he switched hours. Where well, where was the communication with you? Okay with you to let you know what was going on during this play, which means if he knew that he wasn't going to work, but he was gone, okay? He was gone. He's supposed to be on that time clock. He's supposed to punch in. You supposed to sing. Yeah, you supposed to sing all that. But for him to say, oh, well, I traded with, no. You, you coming back to tell me that you traded with somebody else because you don't have shit to show me. You get what I'm saying? So it's the, the lies after the lies for me, okay? Um, 
What did he say? He said, <laughs> uh, she, so I told him to show me uh, where he punched in. Mind you, he never showed me where he punched in. He can't show you shit that he don't got. He just, he, he just, he just can't, okay? If you done caught on and you noticed that he was not at work and you see that he wasn't at work, he has nothing to show you. So the best thing that I can do is come up with something quick to bag that shit up, which bagging that shit up to say, well, I switched out with this younger guy, but while you switching over to tell me something different, you must forgot about what you told me previously about this guy who liked to work and liked to get his hours. So why would he switch a Saturday for me, switch a Friday for a Saturday. That don't make sense because at the end of the day, if he's a young guy, most of the time they want their Saturdays off, okay? <laughs> um. So it's, it's, it's he done got caught and he don't know what to say, okay? He don't know what to say, so he's just trying to kind of confuse you with it. If I tell her this, she going to go for it. But I'm going to tell you again, follow your intuition. If you know the shit that he pulled two years ago and how he pulled that shit and how he lied about it, then put that shit right now in this situation of what he is doing. Um, what you saying, you don't know what to believe. Follow your intuition. Follow what follow what you feeling. You get what I'm saying? He he ain't tried to prove you right. He ain't tried to prove you wrong. He he couldn't prove nothing, okay? But trying to give you another lie. Also, um, for as you being stuck in the median, that's that's your now that's your decision. If you want to go left or you want to go right, I can't tell you to go left. I can't tell you to go right because at the end of the day, you know what situation you are in. You know what your husband is about. You know what your husband give you. You know what you have to deal with, okay? So, and said you have to be the one to, to make that decision on, you know, which way to go. For as me and the Lala gang, we can only just tell you our thoughts and op opinions on the situation of what we think. Um, also, like I said, the communication should be open. And as you said, yes, people can park park their vehicle, okay? They can have it all planned out to think, well, shit, she not going to go looking, she not going to go searching, shit, I'm going to say I'm going to work. And then what we going to do is shit, yeah. And then if you if you think about, hey, if I'm a pass through there or however, his truck will be there, but he's not there. He is actually doing other things. And then that's what I think in this situation. If his truck was still there, yes, he could have hopped in the car with somebody because <clears throat> the proof is in his in his punches and he has no punches whatsoever so that is your answer right there until he can prove you wrong and show you like hey yes why you sitting here not trusting me yes i was here then hey go with the what the hell you 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 feeling because at the end of the day like you said backstory he lied to you two years ago about a hotel, him getting a hotel and saying that it was for his friends. But at the end of the day, it was actually for him. So why is you out here getting a hotel and we married, okay? And I know absolutely nothing about you getting a hotel room. <sighs> so... So her trust is like 40% with him. It's 40% for a reason, which your trust should be 100%. But it's only 40% for a reason because he have showed you a lot of shit. He have done a lot of shit, okay? And only you know, okay? Only you know. So if you know the rundown of what your husband have gave you and done to you, then you put all that together and you come up with your decision to say, hey, you know what, I can't, or this is enough, or the trust here is gone. Because, you know, once the trust is gone, you don't have shit. You don't have nothing at all, okay? You can have a marriage, but if the trust is gone, if the communication is gone, all you have is just a marriage with absolutely nothing. Um, 
So yeah, that's all I can say on that. You know, I want to say thank you for sharing that with me. I have never been in a position of being married. So that is another point to why I don't know how to say or what to say. All I can tell you is follow what you feel. Most of the time with a lot of ladies in a lot of situations, we get the feeling. We get where the intuition tells us, hey, something is not right. But there are moments and there are times when we overlook that. Don't never, don't never overlook that. That is a that is a gift that we all have. Okay. And it can it can it can give you your answer to a lot of situations, okay, without you even trying to stress and think about it. If your gut tells you what it was or or what it is, then you follow that. Okay. It don't take it don't take no Nobody on the outside, their thoughts or their opinions, not your friend, not none of that, because you're the only one in this marriage. You're the only one really know the truth of what you are dealing with. OK, so you go by that. I'm going to tell y'all because with me, I'm, I'm just speaking relationship because I ain't made it to the marriage stage. You know, I always be feeling like I want that. But at the same time, I don't want that because it's just like I know how I am and I don't have time for the BS and I don't have time for the baggage that some of these guys be wanting to give. Um, But yeah, with my situation, that, that answered and solved a lot of my problems. And that's why now when I be telling y'all the vibe, okay, a lot of information I don't need, but I just follow and, 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 and yeah, go on my vibe of what I'm feeling. Shit, if you feeling he is lying and he gave you nothing to prove that what he is telling you is correct, okay, you already know. You already know what it is before anybody else say anything to you. You already know. And you already know what this guy have gave you in your past to answer everything to why you don't have to be stuck on that median, okay? You don't have to be stuck at all. You already know what direction you want to go in because of what he done gave and what he done done. I'm just saying though, that's that's my thought on the situation. Shit, if you if 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 I'm coming to you because you told me one thing, but what I'm seeing is totally different than what you told me, okay? Somewhere the commun the communication is off, okay? Somewhere you're hiding or you're doing some slick shit and you have yet to come to try to prove me of what I'm saying is wrong. You have yet to come to try to show me like shit, you wrong for not trusting me, okay? Because I didn't do shit. You have showed me nothing. So at the end of the day, when he say, oh, you don't trust me, then yeah, no, I don't trust you. I don't trust you until you show me what it is. And that's just what it is. Anyways, y'all, that's it for this video. If y'all like this video, let's throw those thumbs up. And if y'all have not, as y'all do, y'all do, y'all do, do subscribe. And y'all, please don't forget to put y'all comments down below. Not only my advice, but y'all's too can help her out on this situation of, you know, hey, what it is. And if y'all have not, I do ask y'all to subscribe.